Okay, let's see if it's working right now. Let me um, see. Okay, there you go. Looks like it's working now. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you see me right now? Let's see. I will just start slowly. And see uh, if uh, people come in right now. Let's see. Yep, looks like it's on. I can see myself from mobile. So it looks like the stream is successful now. All right, hello everyone. Let's see. So um, yeah, this is going to be the last live stream from Japan as I will be flying to Dubai tomorrow at night time, Japan time. And um, I just wanted to give you a quick update and um, I guess uh, I will end the live stream I think uh, pretty soon. <laughs> I think I will just do some uh, analysis and also um, yeah, basically, I just wanted to say hi to everyone. And that's why I'm just doing this uh, live stream. Oh, hello, Asif. Thank you for joining. Glad that you're here now. Um, I think, uh, yeah, this time um, I didn't create the, the reminder uh, beforehand. So... I expect uh, there will be less people in this live stream. I'm not sure if it's get if it gets notified to uh, to everyone, but let's see. Oh, I start to see some uh, traders in the house. All right. Let's see. Cafe next. Thank you for joining. And um, I see a Jace here, Fais, LA. Great to see you. And uh, Ram, good to see you too. Don Chan, good to see you too. Very nice. Nguyen, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. So sorry, I wasn't able to uh, post the reminder today. So uh, this live stream uh, just started right now without any reminders. But thank you for joining. Glad you, glad that you, uh, you found me. On live stream today so uh, my flight is going to be tomorrow and this is going to be the last live stream from Japan I will be uh, relocating to Dubai this time so yeah I had um, lots and lots of things to do uh, this week especially yesterday and today was very very busy and tomorrow um, I think I will be very busy too but uh, yeah, this uh, relocation is, uh, it takes effort and time, so, um, but it looks like everything is uh, right on time, so I can safely uh, relocate and fly to Dubai tomorrow. Originally, it was on the 29th, but I had to delay two days, because um, I still need to do some paperwork, and also some packings, but uh, yeah. This is good. All right, Jam, thank you for joining. Shiji, good to see you. Signature, thank you for joining as well. Danny, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Danny D and Danny B, good to see you here. So, any moves in the market? I have been staying away from the market for the last two days, yesterday and today. So, this is my first time screen the chart today, right now. All right, Song Cal, thank you for joining as well. And Bill, good to see you too. So let me screen some pair. Uh, so now I don't have any monitors. This is only one monitor. So um, um, yeah, and there's uh, nothing in room. There is no violin anymore. Um, there is nothing in, in the background. I only have two greens and that's it. 
So, uh, yeah, and since I only use one screen, I have to switch the screen time to time. But uh, yeah, so here is the trading view, if you can see. Is my sound okay? Is my voice clear? And is a uh, BGM okay? I hope it's not too loud. Okay. All right. Check gold. All right. Um, what about gold? All right. Let me check gold first and see what's happening. Oh, thank you, Bill. Yes, I will be having a safe flight. So let's see. Um, all right. So gold. Let me check gold first and see what's happening. Um, Alright, so looks like it broke the previous support level at 1760.96 um, uh, and now it's going down. Um, but let me check overall market situation. Okay, so this is the twice of supports in the past and also this was the previous resistances and also previous support here. So I think this is very nicely. I think this breakout is significant. It can go down continuously along the way. Yeah, it's bearish. But um, in this case, um, I wait for this daily candlestick to close uh, because uh, it's, it is breaking. I don't say that this is a breakout, but it is breaking the pro progressive tense, so um, uh, we never know. This uh, candle close might become above the support and we might see a wick pointing downwards and it might become double but the double bottom and the market might start to go up from tomorrow. So um, in this case, I won't jump in. I make sure to wait for the candle close for the daily chart and if it closes below the support of uh, 17 60.96 then um, I would expect the market continuously go down this way okay all good all right clear and good all right that's good to hear thank you thank you for checking yeah because I'm actually using the old microphone the, the microphone that I'm using uh, already packed um, in, the, in the box so this is the temporary uh, microphone that I'm using right now. Okay, let's see. All right. Let's see. Um, don't chan. Uh, no, I don't trade cryptos or stock markets. I only trade forex and gold, silver, and oil. U.S. oil. I I trade. Hello, Arara. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Gregory says, um, Pound New Zealand. All right, let me check. And also, let's see. Pound New Zealand. Okay, hello, Sarosh. Thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Okay, so let's check the, uh, the Pound New Zealand and see what's happening. I don't trade New Zealand because um, it's... Uh, the volatility is high in lower time frames and also um, it offers usually higher spread but let me check okay um, pound New Zealand uh, looks to be flat on the daily chart there is no direction the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat Chikou span is brought above the candles but this is flat pretty much so, I think in lower time frames it's up. Let me check one hour chart. Okay, in one hour chart it's it looks to be up right now. So um, it can go up continuously as long as Kumo's up and the price above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span above above the candles, this is bullish. And this uptrend may stop at the previous resistance level which is at 1.9833 level 
this area is significant because um, this the, we had a previous support and resistances so um, the market can reach to that level and it may retrace its expectation all right hello one thank you for joining yeah sorry sorry um, yeah this live stream um, I wasn't able to create the reminder so I just uh, I just launched the live stream so glad that you find here hello Gabby thank you for joining as well great to see you Gensan Asu says a pound JPY all right looks like pounds moving right now so let's check pound pairs all right David good to see you here thank you for joining So let's see. All right, uh, let's see. Romeo, thank you for joining. Infinity says, um, "Can you please check Dow Jones?" All right, let me check that one afterwards. Okay. So first, let me check the pound JPY. I guess I we're gonna focus on the pound pairs. So starting from the daily chart, pound JPY is going into the Kumo now and it looks to be kind of tracing and the overall market is ranging because the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, right? And Chikospan is within, uh, between candles and Kumo and this is kind of range market. Um, for the last four days it's been bearish. So we can follow the downtrend in the lower time frames. So in that sense, I will check the one hour chart. And yeah, this is bearish. It's been consecutively uh, bearish in the waves. So looks like the market is going down this way. And the potential target in this case will be the previous low. There is a, a small support here, which is 152.64 area is the potential target that I, uh, that I would expect the market to go down along the way. So in that sense we have a room to trade um, for about uh, yeah, 22 pips or so which is a bit too tight so I guess I will just wait for the breakout of that support level and look for the sell chance. So uh, yeah, that's the pound JPY. Let me check pound dollar. Uh, okay, pound dollar is retracing, but this is also downtrending. Let me check the daily chart. Um, yeah, daily chart Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and there is not much of move. Let's see. In four, uh, it's been downtrending, but it's not so strong as before. So um, this is kind of sideways. I would say that this is range, no trend at the moment. Um, let me see, how about Euro Pound? Okay, Euro Pound has been ranging completely. There is no direction at the moment. Yeah, so no trace for me, no trace. This is my first time screen charts this today because I was super busy. For this relocation to Dubai yesterday and today so uh, I'm away from the charts all right thank you for joining everyone great to see you so this is more of the uh, kind of a casual style of uh, live stream because um, I don't think I will do this for a long time I think uh, it lasts for maybe next 10 minutes or 20 minutes because I, I've got a few more things to do until I go to bed tonight so but I just wanted to say hi to everyone because I wasn't able to do a video live yesterday so I feel bad so that's why I just came here and just say hi to everyone and that's the main purpose of this live stream so and tomorrow uh, there will be no lives and videos and the day after also on Thursday um, there will be no live streams or videos
but uh, on Friday um, I will be doing a live stream from a hotel in Dubai so uh, yeah I will see you in uh, in three days after this live stream all right KK thank you for joining great to see you here all right edge image vlogs good to see you okay let me check Dow Jones Okay, um, all right, so sorry, this is Nasdaq in, uh, sorry, Dow Jones will be, uh, yeah, you 30, it's flat right now. Dow Jones looks to be flat, no direction. Yeah, no direction, uh, it's flat. Yeah, I don't, usually in this case, I stay away from the market. Yeah, it may go down still, or up, and we don't know which way it's going. So, simply stay away is what I usually do. All right, Anish says, uh, please save this stream for further studies. Um, yes, um, all the archive, all the videos or live stream in the past are saved on the archive. So yes, you can always watch and enjoy my past videos and lives on my YouTube channel. Okay, um, all right, so USDJPY. Let me see. USDJPY daily chart is now retracing backwards. After the market reached that resistance level, 111.14, it's going back now. And um, it's going back to the Tenkan Sen right now. So, uh, but Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So, in this case, the market can go down to Kijun Sen. So we better wait until the market retraces and pushes back up in this direction. Um, once, so in this case, once um, once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then um, it may go down to Kijun Sen. So whether the market will be supported by this Tenkan Sen or not is a key in this case. Yeah, if it's gonna be supported, maybe to today, tomorrow, then um, that will be a buy. But uh, there will be um, ADP, ADP report, report and also um, non-farm payrolls in the US. So in case you're trading USD pairs or um, gold, you have to be careful for the volatility. World the tracker, yeah, there is no violin because, um, yeah, I already packed it. I already packed the violin to prepare for my flight, which is going to be tomorrow. Oh, Faiz, thank you for the comment. Yeah, hopefully um, everything will be great in my uh, new challenge. Hello, Butter, thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Oh, Marco, you're welcome. You're welcome on the videos of uh, BNF. I will be creating more videos about his strategy. And also, there is a conversation between BNF and CIS. And I'm thinking to introduce once I settle, once I settle in, in Dubai. But uh, yeah, that one, uh, it took me like, uh, for myself, it took me like uh, the full day or two days to create that... Um, that uh, you know slides so I'm glad that you enjoyed the video yeah I will see in Dubai Romeo says how do you think your turns would be if you would take trades based on the one hour chart um, I never tried it so I'm not sure because usually I take trades on the daily chart or forward charts and uh, if I only see trends on the one hour chart um, um, I prefer to stay away because it become a tricky market but um, yeah I think that will be interesting to see how it plays out yeah I might back test and uh, yeah do the, do the uh, share the result afterwards 
All right, Donnie, thank you for joining. Great to see you. Yes, and please, if you can follow the rules and in,、uh, in the,、um, that would be great as a disclaimer. Because we are all here to learn. So, if you can follow guidelines and rules, that would be great. As usual. So, let's see. Aurora says,、uh, Dear Kay, are there any YouTube videos about how to draw support resistance lines from you?、Um, I don't think I have a specific video for that because、um, I usually yeah, I talk about lines, support resistance, and trend lines、uh, while the live stream. So, yeah, just、um, you can just watch me live stream on videos and You can learn the way I draw the lines. All right. Yeah, great to see everyone. Thank you for joining. Kylo, great to hear that. Smart says,、um, Do you really only trade based on Ichimoku cloud indicator?、Um, in higher time frames, yes. On higher time frames、um, above one hour charts, I use Ichimoku. But、um, when it comes to taking the specific entry edges, I use other indicators. Mugena、um, san says,、uh, What is your idea for Friday USD news?、Uh, um, no, from payrolls.、Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, let's see how the market will react by that news. The dollar could be bought as a result, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Alright, fights. Thank you for your comment. And Ram, too. Thank you for the comment as well. Alright, let's see. Can you check、um, AUD USD? All right, let me see. AUD USD daily chart is going down now.、Uh, it's bearish. But、um, let me see. In one hour chart, it's,、um, it's also bearish, yet the price is below Tenkan Kijun Kumo here. So this is bearish. The market is going down and looks like the next target is going to be. On 0.7493 area. And now it goes sideways, and the market might return back to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So,、uh, in this case, I wait for the breakout and look for the selling edge. Or、um, if I see like a 30 minute chart to be downtrending. Then、um, I will follow a 30 limit chart trend down to, to trade. But、um, in this case, the,、um, the target, the potential target at 0.7493 is a bit too, too narrow. I think、uh, yeah, this is only like 24 pips. So the market could be tricky in this case. Oh, thank you for the comments, everyone. I see lots and lots of comments. Thank you for joining. Yeah, sorry I wasn't able to remind today's live stream to everyone because actually I have,、um, yeah, I actually、uh, have a、uh, different device than usual, and、uh, I have a、uh, different microphone, different camera, different lightings, and I only Use one monitor, so and also there is no physical line.、Um, I only use Wi Fi right now for the live stream, but glad that it's working. Looks like all right, yeah. Dylan Preet, you're welcome. Hamza, no, <laughs> no, 
Um, I don't wear suits every time I, I trade. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I wear this uh, tie and shirt on the live stream only. Hello, Danish. Thank you for joining. Thank you for so stopping by. Great to see you here. All right, Nicole. Yeah. Soon meet in Dubai. All right, um, Tukang, thank you for joining also. Um, can't you? Um, I don't use Fractal to trade. I don't. I simply um, look at the price actions and waves to trade. Um, Joy, I don't use pending orders. I trade manually. I watch chart manually, screen chart manually and take trades manually. Oh, Gabby, thank you for the reminder. Yeah, if you liked today's live stream so far, please place a like button. And please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these live streams and videos on my YouTube channel. Yeah, Mayun, you're welcome here. And Arara, you're welcome too. Yeah, so let's see. AUDJPY. All right, let me check. Okay, AUDJPY is nicely downtrending. Let me check the daily chart. Um, the daily chart is now still in the P wave, and this is still, uh, you know, Kijun Sen flat. So it's uh, it's not really a downtrend as per daily time frame. But um, let me see. In Fuwa chart, it started to go down. It broke the Kumo now. And then in one hour chart, this is nicely downtrending. So in this case, I would follow the one hour chart downtrend and look for the sell. And as per one hour chart, the potential target is going to be the previous support level at 82.78. And in this case, we have more room to trade. I think this is uh, yeah about like a 28 pips of room to trade. So. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is good. This is downtrending at the moment. AUD JPY. Kumo's down nicely. Senko span um, B is down, A is down, and also Kijun Sen is pointing down too. Chiko span below the candles. Sorry, no, let me do this. Chiko span is below the candles, and the price is now on reverse in waves. The price has been below the Tenkan Sen, and this shows a strong downtrend. Sorry, I'm reading the comments on the mobile right now. So uh, I have to kind of switch back and forth from mobile and this screen. So. Romeo, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So the way I use Ichimoku is to capture trend directions because I am a trend follower. So I mainly talk about the trend pairs, trend markets, and um, which one to trade, which one not to trade. But um, yeah, as Ichimoku offers um, the range trace strategies as well as the trend uh, trend follow strategies, um, I will show it to you and also three theories too yeah, time theory wave theory and price theories um, I will talk about it in the future live stream of videos I have talked about it in the past videos so you can watch them and enjoy also Preet says, uh, which platform should I use in order to take trades uh, MT4, MT5? Um, you, I, I'm using MT5. So, and I prefer MT5 because it's the latest version and the company doesn't support the MT4 anymore. So in case anything happens on MT4, um, it's out of service. So in that sense, MT5 is better to use and also um, um, the Ichimoku Kumo, Kumo Cloud looks better 
an MT5. And MT5 reacts much quicker than MT4 to the market, smooth, tick movement. So that's why I prefer MT5. Uh, Romeo, thank you for the reminder also for the like button. Good to see you. And Bat, you're welcome. Um, so let's see. David says, um, Hi K, average how many tries you take per month? Um, it depends on how active the, how active the month is, but um, I take tries um, in between maybe 7 or 8 to uh, to 20 I would say if markets are really active then I take trades 20 times but uh, if not then I will take less trades all right let's see Rudiger thank you for joining here Okay, so I will be ending the live stream maybe in about five minutes or so. All right, the what? Thank you for joining. Euro USD. All right, let me see. Euro USD. Um, okay, it's retracing backwards in one hour chart. And let me see. In the daily chart, um, the price is still within the P wave. Well, I mean, this P wave is actually on the weekly basis and the price is at the lower level on this P wave so um, now it's flat Kumo is going down but uh, the Kumo itself is pretty much very very small and Kijun Sen flat also so in this condition the market might be reacted by this trend line and it goes up but um, until it happens we have to wait uh, because now it's going down in the lower time frames so let me switch back to one hour chart and if, if you see one hour chart it's bearish the price is below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and also Kumo so this is bearish Chikou Span below the candles too so it may go down to that uh, P wave lower level the P wave and then it might go up this way but um, I don't I don't sell in this condition because uh, we're not sure uh, if it continues to go down because now Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat also. So um, yeah, I would wait for the market to be going down in the lower time frames. If not, then I will stop, stay away from this market. Especially if uh, there, there will be uh, ADP and also uh, non fund payrolls on Friday. Uh, we don't rush to trades on this particular pair. Alright. MD, yeah, if I have a nice opportunity, then I will take trades on the real moving market but now I don't find any opportunities Donny, um, I don't think BNF uh, and CIS were using Ichimoku they use MA and price action and a few other strategies okay CADJPY let me see I think markets are pretty much ranging right now. There's no big moves. So CTJPY on the daily chart is now flat also. Um, it's going down for the last two days. So in the lower time frame it's going down, but in the daily chart it's flat. And let me see. In the forward chart it's flat also. The Kumo is flat. Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, but they are above the Kumo. So uh, the, it can be fakey. This angle of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen can be fake. And um, if you see one hour chart, then it's going down. So you can follow the one hour chart downtrend in this case. And then the potential target is going to be at the previous support 
at this um, 89.02 but uh, we only have like uh, yeah very uh, few uh, only few pips like uh, less than 20 pips of uh, room to trade so yeah it's not really an ideal situation either all right uh, love day thank you for liking the live stream for today all right Christo yeah um, I'm using um, the brokers outside and inside Japan I use four brokers and one of them is XM trading I'm using xmtrading.com so uh, just uh, just uh, just make sure that there are two different brokers xm.com and xmtrading.com are two different brokers and I'm, I'm using xmtrading.com All right, Balthazar, thank you for the comment. You're welcome. Okay, I guess I will be ending the live stream for now since uh, I still need to a uh, few things for tonight to prepare for the flight tomorrow. So, um, yeah, once again, thank you for joining today, everyone. And uh, so tomorrow I will be in flight. So uh, there, there will be no videos, live streams. And also the day after tomorrow, I will be landing Dubai and uh, I will take a good rest on Thursday and I will see everyone on Friday. You will see background different because I will be in Dubai. So once again, thank you for joining and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So yeah, until then, uh, please stay healthy everyone and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.